Hi everyone, I am Dr. Hassan Khwaja and I am working as a medical hospitalist in a community hospital. Today I am going to share with you a very interesting event of my life when I was working as a medical student in a neurosurgery ward. Here comes a patient who is 85 years old and he is suffering from Parkinson's disease and he has he has those tremors that is associated with Parkinson's disease and and his tremors were getting so bad day by day and so severe that he could barely do any task of his own and and we were shocked to see that there was no medicine that was providing treatment to that patient and all the alternative medicine that was present at that time they they were they were not working well for him so we what we did we discussed that case with our professor and our faculty and what our professor suggested that there is a technique which is known as deep brain stimulation in which you put two holes in the brain and you send electrical rods all the way down in the thalamus and you connect those electrical rods with a wire and with a battery and when you apply electrical stimulation to that part of brain and the during the surgery the patient is awake and you are amazed to see that those tremors from this they go to this the person is basically cured from these tremors but what was unique to this patient that this patient has other complications as well and he was very old and he was immunocompromised and his immunity was very low already so we were pretty much reluctant to perform that surgery and at that time the family members of that patient they didn't give consent consent us they didn't consent to us to do that procedure to this patient and i was i was pretty much uh, keenly interested in this case what i did going back to home i i searched all those uh research articles those experimental studies and all the previous treatment that has been done so far for these kind of patients and i made a data analysis i i gathered all that data and i wrote down a research article and i using my data analysis skill and my mathematical and statistical skills and i made a hypothesis that this deep brain stimulation therapy might be very good for our patient and and it is pretty much safe and what i did i i had a degree in biomedical engineering when i a graduation degree so using all my scientific and technical and engineering background and and obviously mathematical background knowledge i i made a hypothesis and i made a research article and when i presented that article to my seniors and to my professor they were very happy to see that uh, that i took this initiative so the next part was that to convince the family members that this is a very good shot for that patient that we should we should try that so i uh, i communicated and i counseled the family members of the patient and and they were and they got convinced and and, and we were we all were very excited to perform that surgery to that on that patient and what we did upon the next upon the next few days we we performed that surgery on that patient and we all were very amazed to see the result that that patient's tremors from this they went to this and he was cured and at that time i realized that that one must have a very good scientific and te- technical and i would say engineering and mathematical background knowledge to be to be intuitive to be very innovative and 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 in every field of science you must be innovative 